Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will try to learn another elements that are those are italic bold and underline. Up to now, we are learning about these all types of elements, right? Texting uh, elements. Now, this is the last elements what I want to explain you. Italic bold and underline. What are, what are these italic bold and if you want to make the text italic or if you want to bold the text or if you want to underline the text, what we need to what we need to use the elements. The elements we have discussed so far have clear cut associated semantics. So here we are discussing about the semantics along with the implementation of this text content. So it should have a, the element whatever the element you are using for a particular HTML text should have a correct meaning so that the SEO, the search engines and all those other 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 softwares will be able to understand what you are meant to uh, express. So that is the thing. So it is not a spoken language, right? You are writing the HTML that is a written language. So that it, written language, other softwares or other any things should able to rec recognize that how much uh, importance the text is. Uh, so is, do I need to make an important note like that? So now those are those have a clear cut semantics meanings. The situation with the B, I and U, these are B means bold, I means italic and U means underline. These elements is somewhat more complicated. So these are somewhat little bit, a little bit complicated. So why? Because let's try to see. They came about so people could write bold italics or underlined text in an array when CSS was still supported poorly or not at all. So that means these these, these elements came in a, in a scenario that at the time so uh, long before when the CSS was, was supported very poorly at the time for HTML to support these italic bold and underline. So these elements has been came into existence. Elements like this which only affect the presentation and not the meaning. So here the elements italic bold and underline these are these will affect the presentation. It doesn't have any meaning for that one. So it it, if it affects the presentation that's it. The way of showing the text it will change it and not have any meaning. So these are called as an presentation elements, presentational elements. It should no longer be used because as we have seen before, semantics is so important to accessibility and SEO. So why because? So this doesn't have any specific meaning for the text, right? So these two, this should be avoided as soon as, so as much as possible. Why because? So this will affect to the accessibility and the SEO. I will try to tell you about the accessibility thing, how we can check our HTML accessibility and how we can check our search engine optimization and all those things also. I will try to explain. So these are the things you need to consider. HTML5 redefined B, I and U with new somewhat confuse, confusing semantic roles. So HTML5 has again uh, got back these uh, elements, three elements. So with new things, but little bit still more it is confusing only it is likely appropriate to use b i or u to convey a meaning traditionally conveyed with bold italics or underline provided there is no more suitable element so for example if you want to show any bold items or anything so it does uh, for an for a word which doesn't have any uh, uh, preferences or anything means but you don't have but you are not enabled to find any suitable element or anything means you can use this elements I is used to convey a meaning traditionally conveyed by italic, foreign words, taxonomic designation, technical terms, etc. So here the I means italic. So this one for you to, if you want to mention a text with italic means you can use this one. Bold is used to convey a meaning traditionally conveyed by bold. Keywords, product names, lead sentence like this. So these are all the things if you want to mention in the bold means you can use the B tag. Last one is an underline U tag. It is used to convey a meaning traditionally conveyed by underline proper name misspelling like this. Okay, let's try to see the practical implementation of this one. I, B and U elements how it will behave. So let's go to in this one. So here I am using italics. Okay, italics.html. Now I am using the HTML tag. And here I am using something like div tag. Okay, let's leave it this one. So I want to mention I, okay. So this is an italic text. Now I have written this one as in a italic text. Now if you want, you can also, as this one is a paragraph, you can use this in the P tag also. Now let's try to see the output. If I try to see the output here, now the text has been in the italic text, right? Let's try to write it here. Okay, I will have an another P tag. 
this is a normal text so this is a normal text here now let's try to see the output for this one again so this is a normal text but this is an italic text now let's try to see the bold so if you want to mention the bold means i can use so here i need to use the b tag okay this is the bold text okay now if you want to mention a text in the bold means you can use this this is the bold text now if you try to see here see that the text i the, the text is the is in the bold now if you want to underline the text means you can use another one u tag u element something like here this is the underline text now if you try to see the output see now the text is in the underline so these are the different ways how you can mention the element so these normally you can do it with the css and all those things but in the html also you can implement that one using the i b and u so these are the different types of text formatting some somewhat more advanced text formatting is also there we'll try to discuss later going on so this is all about this italic bold and the underline hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video i will try to give the reply and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you